So I thought a lot about the whys and the hows. I'm just kidding. I don't have faults. Why should I have faults? Aren't faults the reason that we are sometimes disturbed? Well, they are. Every fault creates a reason, and that reason creates the action or inaction. In both cases, you will actually suffer for a simple reason. You either have the fault go into action and make it happen, but then you need persistency, consistency, conviction, and actually it has to resonate with others. Or, well, you have to fall and suddenly there is nothing. What do you do then? So how about we just have no thoughts? Is that even possible? It is. Because I was trying to have thoughts and my mind is empty. It's very difficult. I speak to explain something because just out of understanding and it's truth. But there is nothing that comes up in my mind trying to express something. It is just absolutely quiet. And that quietness is the highest form of intelligence. And at the same time, the highest form that a human can arrive to. Why isn't this worth one million? Why can't we teach that? The world would be a wonderful place. Suddenly you have no beliefs, no hope, no despair, no emotions, no ups and downs. Just constantly satisfied, clear, in order, and by sense. Not disturbing anything or anyone. So, yeah, why don't we teach that as the thing? Since it is the nothing. Just a reflection on something which matters.